Today we're going to take a look at a special vehicle that we've done for Miller's Recovery. It's based on the Mercedes Sprinter platform and we've supplied all of the control and lighting equipment to go on this vehicle. It's fitted with a Polaris touchscreen and control system, but also tied into that is the Sound Off Signal Blueprint system. You can see fitted we've got a variety of M-Power grill lights and fend off lights on the side. Some of the grill lights are dual colour, amber and white. We have N-Force light bars at the front and rear. The front light bar is full white and full amber. So at night you can turn the, the white on and give a really good scene illumination. Uh, we're using Whelan M6 V-Series, which have got a built-in scene light underneath. And that's all tied into the Sound Off Blueprint system. So that allows us to synchronize all of the left and the right lighting on the vehicle. So all of the M powers and the other lights that you see around the vehicle, including the side marker lights uh, in the chrome bars that are fitted on this vehicle, they can all be set to flash exactly at the same time in sync. So everything that you see on the light bar ties perfectly in with everything else that's flashing down that side of the vehicle. And we'll show you a little bit more about that later on. Uh, but it also means that on this we've tied in uh, a lot of the white lighting on the front. So if you switch on the full beam, you'll see that most of the front of the light bar, all of the driving lamps and some of the grill lights as well have changed colour. But in the cab of the vehicle we've fitted a Polaris touchscreen and you can see here we've got controls for all of the lighting, the amber lighting functions and controls for all of the white lights. You can also see there we are controlling uh, some of the signs in the cab, the hand wash, there's lights underneath, there's also an air compressor, uh, 24 volt and 230 volt power and a diesel heater. Uh, and in this case we can control the, the diesel heater, you can see the ambient temperature and the set temperature there. You can also see the voltage of the chassis battery uh, and the auxiliary battery. So we can switch on, for example, the inverter, which gives us uh, 2 kilowatts of 230 volt power. And we can also easily turn on all of the lights, the white lights around the vehicle. Everything is displayed in one place. In the back of the van, uh, there's all of the inverters, chargers, 12 and 24 volt battery systems, but that's all stored away under the racking, so we can't really show you that, but we can probably put some pictures in of it. Uh, but we've fitted an extra touchscreen on the back, which again gives battery voltage information, and we can turn the lights on inside, control all of the power systems, and we can also turn the scene lights on uh, outside the vehicle, which means the driver doesn't have to get back in the front to turn all the lights on. So it really gives us full control of everything on the vehicle, including the air system, all in one convenient place. At the back of the vehicle, you can see we've a 54 inch N-Force up at the top, and we've got four inch M-Powers down at the bottom. Uh, both of these are dual color, so the whole of the light bar and the M-Powers can go from amber to white. You also see again down the side, all of the amber lights that are fitted, the M6s, all of the side marker lights are all flashing in sync. And that's again because we've got blueprint fitted. Uh, within the light bar, there is an arrow function, so we can turn on the right arrow. And the left arrow. So the other great thing that we can do is switch on all of the white lighting on the vehicle and you'll see now that the corners and as well if we turn on the rear of the light bar and all of the scene lights. You can see now we've kept a little bit of amber at the back uh, and amber at the bottom. The other thing that we've fitted on this vehicle as well uh, allows us to illuminate the rear, uh, the lower M power lights and the top of the light bar when we put it in reverse. So as well as the vehicle's reversing lights, we've now got extra illumination and you could, if you wanted, switch on the scene lights at the side. Mm -hmm.